Okay, it is uh, Saturday morning and we have opted for breakfast, brunch at uh, First Watch here in St. Pete. This is on Tyrone Boulevard between 38th Street North and uh, Park Avenue. So it's a busy street. Tyrone is a very, very busy street. A lot of shops and businesses. We're just down from Tyrone Mall. But uh, this is actually a place Jen and I uh, have eaten at a couple of times and it's really good. It's freshly made and fresh um, uh, Fresh ingredients with a really really good menu. So once we actually get in there, we'll show you We're currently waiting about a 10 to 15 minute wait Saturday morning uh, It is still kind of busy. The one thing with it is that the parking is uh, kind of tight They don't have a lot of spots right here in the very front um, in front of the restaurant so you might have to go back to uh, the shopping area where PetSmart is located and then just kind of walk right up the walkway here to get to it. So uh, not easy to get into. Uh, parking is not the greatest, but the food's really good and it's worth it. So we'll, uh, we'll let you know as we get in there. So we are at First Watch in St. Pete. Um, it's more of a brunch place. They do breakfast and lunch and brunch. Um, we've been here a couple times. Um, the food is consistently good. A lot of organic, um, fresh juices, smoothies, healthy options, steel oats, um, fresh fruit. Um, of course, we're not going to be that healthy because we've started with an appetizer of the pumpkin. Let me read it pumpkin to you. Pumpkin spice donuts. The pumpkin spice donuts, which Joe read the description. Well, I'm going to just show you the menu. So this is their uh, seasonal menu, and the pumpkin spice donuts are warm cake donut holes tossed with pumpkin pie spice sugar, served with salted caramel applesauce, and creme anglaise. But, so this is their seasonal menu. And then here is their regular menu. It is uh, pretty extensive. They have, they have several First Watch locations throughout There's Florida. one around Orlando. In Orlando, suburbs of Orlando. It's going to look up the history of the uh, company. I know that they have several, but we've eaten at this one here in St. Pete a couple of times. It's not on here. I thought they might have the other locations. But um, you can see there's a, if you pause to look at the menu, you'll see that they have a really good variety of different options and choices. Coffee here that we're having is excellent. So I think because we are doing the donuts to start, we're going to be a little healthier and just do some eggs and toast, bacon, just to keep it a little light. Coffee's good, Jen? It's really good. It's really good. All right, we'll let you know when the food arrives. Just wanted to focus on uh, this part of the menu where they explain their philosophy for fresh ingredients and just offering uh, different options, different dishes that are a little unique and not something you would get at a lot of other breakfast places. So it's mainly breakfast, brunch, and lunch that they serve. And this is just one example, the pesto chicken quinoa bowl. And then this is something that I was considering as a healthier option, the AM Superfoods bowl. Coconut milk chia seed pudding topped with fresh bananas, berries, blackberry preserves, and house-made granola. So, I have not ordered yet, so I might go with that after all, but you can never go wrong with eggs. So, like I said, a lot of different choices and options. We've got omelets, frittatas, eggs, healthier side. And then, of course, the pancakes from the griddle. This, French, this Floridian French toast sounded really good. Floridian French toast? Yes. 
time and ago with the traditional breakfast, which is two cage-free eggs, any style, which I will get scrambled. With your choice of bacon, smoked ham, savory chicken sausage patties, turkey or pork sausage links, served with whole grain artesian toast, all natural house preserve, and fresh seasoned potatoes. That makes me tired just saying that. Sounds but I've good. had this breakfast before and I know it's good and I just want a simple traditional breakfast so this should suit the bill. Yeah. Well, here we go. You've got it. You got the donuts with the different sauces. We ordered a couple of orange juices. So we're gonna dig in. Go ahead, Jen. Tell me what you think. Okay, yeah. Alright, first I'm gonna do one just plain as I get powdered sugar everywhere. Yeah. You're gonna die. Good, huh? Um, they're warm and they melt in your mouth. That's really all I can say. They are so good. Here, I'll feed you one. Well, hold on just a second. Let me oh. check something. Did you do any sauce at all? Um, I cheated while you were giving me the camera and I tried this sauce. Holy. So, what do you think that sauce is? Pumpkin spice, isn't okay. it? Okay, and is this, let me taste this, is this like a cream cheese? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, Joe, would those be a thumbs up? or a thumbs down. I don't know, Jen. I don't think I like them at all. Does that mean you're not going to share with me? Share what? All right, the inside of the donut, I just actually haven't in the sauce, the pumpkin spice sauce. But the inside of the donut is, donut is light and flaky, while the outside is crispy. And just the texture is fantastic. The taste is awesome. It's not super sweet. I mean, it's actually really good. It's very light, so it's not heavy like a regular typical donut, but holy cow. And they're made to order. Yeah. So they're just made fresh right when you order them. So definitely excellent, excellent. Just wanted to show you guys a little more of what the inside looks like on the donut. All right, here we are. I ended up going the uh, healthy route. And I got the uh, chia seed pudding with the granola and fruit. And Jen got the traditional breakfast with Canadian ham. Smoked ham. Smoked ham. Scrambled eggs. Artesian toast. And hash browns. Hashy brownie potatoes. Alright. Dig in. Enjoy. So, Jen's wearing my hat. Looks kind of cute. I like it. I wear that hat to cover my balding head because it's <laughs> sunny down here in Florida. Ugh. The worst kind of sunburn is on your scalp. I guess maybe there could be other body parts that would be worse, but scalp kind of hurts. Anyway, all right, so here's our review of First Watch in St. Pete on Tyrone Boulevard. Um, food, excellent. I love the healthy choices, um, the, the different options that you have that are unique that you don't get at a lot of other restaurants because you get the typical breakfast fare at most every place, you know, pancakes, eggs, blah, blah, blah. But this offers a lot of the different options and this uh, am superfood bowl that i had was uh, a coconut milk base which is just chilled with the chia seeds inside so you just mix it all up uh you she put it in the freezer for a little bit did she say freezer or she said fridge? Freezer. freezer she said freezer um because the waitress told us that you can get different recipes uh like this on pinterest where you could add agave or honey uh they just sweeten it up a yeah bit. They had the boysenberry preserves, I think it was. Yes, at the um, bottom of the bowl. Well, it was kind of mixed in. And then you had the different fruits, strawberry, bananas, uh, blueberries, and granola. I think raspberries as well, and then granola, which was fantastic. Just excellent, exactly what I needed. Came with the side of uh, their thick toast uh, top of peanut butter. So mine was really good. I'm glad I made that choice because it was healthy after those donuts. And we both had coffee and we both had orange juice and then I had the traditional breakfast which I showed you guys talked about. Um, it was very good. I can't complain. It's usually what I get there. 
you know, you find something on the menu that you like, and if you're like me, you have a hard time trying new things because you stick with your old favorites. Like <laughs> nachos at the restaurant by our house. It's also the very Mexican. Day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all I get. Yeah, well, that's right. Different story. Um, but anyway, yes, it was really good. So a couple of the negatives: the parking situation is bad. Like I mentioned earlier, trying to get in there off of Tyrone is easy enough, but when you exit, you can only make a right-hand turn. You can't make a left because of the way the road is divided. Um, not a lot of parking spots in there. It's really tight, so you might have to park in. Um, did I say was was it PetSmart, PetSmart behind, there? behind it? Yeah, yeah. So there's a PetSmart behind it because uh, there's a whole shopping center there, so there's lots of parking, and then you just walk across to get to it. It's really um, no big deal, but yeah, that's not a big deal. Now, when you first walk into the restaurant, um, it's very crowded and congested. And we right? did not show you guys the whole restaurant because yeah. it was extremely crowded, and we were trying to be cognizant of. Um, filming other people especially while they're eating so we did not get any interior shots other than the booth that we are sitting in but when you walk in the door you have the cash register immediately to the right and straight ahead there's a little podium where you check in and then to the left there's a bench where you can sit and it's just a very congested small area yeah yeah so that would probably be our only negative yeah really um, which isn't big but we, still, yeah it's not it takes big. away from um, the whole checking in process and making it a little bit more flawless and the reason one of the other reasons that it's so crowded up there is that you don't pay the, the server at the table you pay the register up front right. so that adds to so you have people walking in and out people trying to pay people trying to check in mm -hmm. waiting for their table so it's a bit of a cluster yeah yeah but uh, the overall the way it's decorated it reminds me of if you watch chip and joanna Gaines and the way joanna Gaines decorates kind of a country type mm -hmm. theme really cute wood. yeah really really cute so overall definitely thumbs up really like this place so i would say if you are if you are there if you are in saint pete in the area check it out it was really good it's very you like good. it love it all right our next stop on our journey oh, and adventure like today this. yeah this place is pretty good we'll uh um we'll show you here in just a sec bye bye